Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be demonstrating and kind of answering a question that I get asked a lot on this channel and that is what are those gadgets that you have on your desktop? If you guys have seen any of my tutorial videos or any video where I show my main computer's desktop you may have seen some gadgets that I have going on up in the top left and the top right basically in all of the different corners of my display I have these gadgets and I've gotten asked in multiple different comments by people what is that that's really cool how do you get that and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how that I did that and what piece of software that you want to download if you want to do this for yourself and that is this awesome piece of software called rain meter let's get started this video is sponsored by PDF elements a powerful tool that allows you to create and edit PDF documents easily and effectively check out the link in the video description for more information so RainMeter is one of my favorite pieces of Windows software. I've been using this for the past couple of years and since I've gotten so many comments from you guys asking about it, I just decided to make a dedicated video on this piece of software because I just really want to share it with you guys. I think that you guys who are in the market for something like this will really enjoy this as I have definitely enjoyed using it myself. So in a nutshell, what RainMeter allows you to do is have these gadgets on your desktop that you can use to display a ton of different information. Not only is this a free program, but it is also completely open source, which allows third party developers to create their own skins that you can download and use. And I'll be getting into that a little bit later on in this video. But this is just a great piece of software. Like I said, I really like this. I, re I really enjoyed using it. I've used this for the past couple of years and it's been great. So if you wanna get this and if you wanna actually customize your desktop, how do you do it? Well, you want to head on over to rainmeter.net and you want to download the final release. Whatever the, the latest version of RainMeter is, that's what you want to download. In this case, it's 4.3. Once you download it, you're going to be presented with this installation right here. It's a super simple install. You can choose between the standard installation or the portable installation if you want to install this on like a USB drive. Um, we're just going to go ahead and install it here. And you can see that you have that box there to launch rain meter on startup. That is something that you most likely will want to do if you want to have this thing running on your machine at all times and kind of uh, theme your you know system around this program, have certain desktop backgrounds for certain skins. You definitely want this to run on startup. Now, what is also very, very nice about this is that it is very minimal on your system's resources. As you can see down here, it says, you know, that it's super fast. It uses very little hardware resources. Now you do have to have at least Windows 7 for this to run. It does not support XP or Vista. So you need to have at least a Windows 7 um, for you to be able to actually do this. But if we scroll down here, you can see that they have this uh, community showcase here. These are all uh, skins created by third-party developers. And you can see that they look really, really awesome. So here's one right here. Um, it has this you know, very, very minimal looking clock. It's got the date right here. It's got a weather widget. There's just a, a ton of different possibilities that you can use to theme your desktop. What I like to do is I have a couple of different skins actually. I use two on my main computer to actually uh, you know, accomplish the look that I'm going for. Here's one right here where the entire background is kind of themed around. You have you know, some shortcuts to some programs over here. You have what looks like an audio meter. You've got your date. You've got a clock here. So you, people get very, very creative. And what's also cool is you can create skins yourself. You don't even need to rely on other people's skins. You can do it totally yourself which is awesome. So if we go in here to the getting started guide, this is basically a guide showing you how to, you know, create your own rain meter skin. It tells you how to actually do it right here. It gives you a sample of some rain meter code. But if you want to just get started and get off the ground super fast, well, you might want to rely on other people's skins. And I'll be showing you how you can actually get those later on in this video. But let's actually take a look at the program itself. So when you first launch RainMeter, this is what you're gonna be presented with. This is the default skin. It's called Illustro, I believe is how you pronounce it. And each one of these little boxes is a separate skin. So you have themes and you have skins. Themes are basically a collection of different skins. And a skin is one of these little widgets or gadgets, whatever that you wanna call it. 
So Illustro comes with this welcome box here. It comes with one that has your uh, hard drive usage. It has one with your system usage, which also has a shortcut to open task manager, which is nice. And you have one that has the current time and the date. The time is in military time, so you know if you like that, it is there for you. Now, you probably don't want to have this big box at the center of your screen that just you know tells you how to use it, but this is for you know when you run it you know for the first time just give you some basic info at how that it actually works most of your um, customizing of your skins is going to be done from this right click menu so you can right click on any skin and you'll be presented with this window here the first line is going to tell you what skin that it is so this is in the theme pack illustro and the skin name is welcome it's got all of the uh, different variants here it also has a list of all of the different skins in the illustro pack it has the uh, skin settings. You can, you know, change the uh, transparency of it if you want. You can edit the skin. You can actually go in and uh, edit the configuration or the INI file. If I wanted to go ahead and change, let's say, you know, this welcome to rain meter text up here. If I want to change that, all I got to do is just uh, scroll down here. I can search for welcome. Okay, here, here's the text right here. Welcome to rain meter. Let's say that I want to make this say Michael MJD. I'm going to just go save that, and then I can close out of that, and I can refresh the skin and check that out. It just totally changed. That's how easy that it is. Of course, that's a very, very minimal um, edit that you can do, but that is how easy that it is to really customize these skins and make it your own. When you want to unload a skin, you just want to go to the very bottom menu here, which is Unload Skin and it will get rid of that for you. So I should also mention that you have this icon in your system tray, and if you right click on this, this is essentially Rain Meter's master menu. What this does is it gives you some more options. If you go to this uh, manage button here, it will bring up this menu, which basically will actually show you what skins that you have installed. You have this layouts tab up here, which allows you to set up different layouts of your Rain Meter skins. So let's say that I wanna save this current layout right here. I can just go ahead and you know give it a name. We'll just call it one, and I can save it. And if I want to go back to the Illustro default, which is what when you when you first open a brain meter, all I have to do is click on load, and you can see this is going to load uh, exactly how it was when I started Rain Meter for the first time. And if I want to go back to this one layout that I made, I just hit load, and now it's going to get rid of that center thing, and it's going to bring up my uh, widgets up here, just like I had them before. You also have a settings tab over here, which gives you some more settings for the actual application, which is definitely useful. Um, but what's also cool is this list right here will actually give you all of the different skins that are currently active on your desktop. So I've only got three of them, so it has these three different skins here, and I can edit each one of them individually if I want to. There's also a logging feature as well. It's just, again, it's a very, very powerful tool, and it's very customizable as well. Now, if you want to start downloading skins, how can you do that? Well, one of the sites that I would recommend is DeviantArt. DeviantArt is a great place where you can actually download these skins. They have a whole rain meter section, and you can search for skins on here and download them and try them out. There's just a ton of different people on here developing these skins. So these are the two skins that I personally use on my system. One of them is called Elementary 3.0, and the other one is called VNext 2 RM Suite. Now, I will leave links to both of these down below if you guys wanna actually go and download them. So you just wanna to go to one of these pages and hit this download button over here, and it will download an RM skin file. So we're gonna go ahead and save this one, and we're also gonna go ahead and download VNext as well. Now, I guess DeviantArt has these ads for some reason that you have to actually close out of or something because the download link is not it, it, it sometimes will get overtaken by the ad which is very annoying so we're just going to download this one here we'll go ahead and save that one we'll view our downloads here now installing a skin pack is super easy uh, and i'm going to show you how to do that so let's go ahead and install elementary first we're just going to double click on this and this is the Rain Meter Skin Installer. What it allows you to do is choose what skins and what layouts and what plugins that you want to install. You can choose to apply the included layout or not. It also has the name of the skin and the author information up here. And there is this advanced tab which allows you to backup skins if you want. All you have to do is click on Install. 
and it will go ahead and install the skin. It will close out of Rain Meter and it will reopen it. And this right here is your default layout. This actually looks to be a newer version than what I'm using. I may have to actually update because that is uh, super useful. But this is basically what it allows you to do. So I'm going to kind of go ahead and set up my skin layout here. So over here, you can have a weather widget. This is usually how I have mine set up. For some reason, it's not letting me drag it over to the top left or to the bottom left of the screen how I like to have it. Um, so I could maybe do the weather over here. I could do the date over here. Um, I usually have it reversed, but you know, just in this instance, we'll go ahead and do that. And that's basically what I have from elementary. Now let's go ahead and take a look at V next because V next is how that I actually have these indicators up here showing me my CPU, RAM and uh, swap usage, as well as all of my hard drive storage over here. So V next here, this is actually a perfect example because some of the skins that you download won't come with one of those installers and, and you'll have to manually add it yourself. So V next here is one of those skins. So when you actually want to add a skin manually, which is basically we just have to take this folder and put it into our rain meter directory you want to go into your documents folder and go into the newly created rain meter folder and then go into skins and then all you have to do is just drag this entire folder into the skins directory and then you might want to restart rain meter or at least refresh it so how that you do that is you go here right click on it and then hit refresh all and what that will do is it will uh, allow you to go into this manage tab here and now we have this vnex2 folder now what i can do is right click on any skin or go down here from the uh taskbar but i just usually do it from any skin i can right click on it then i can go to rain meter i can go to skins i can go into vnex2 skins vnex and then uh, go into whatever skin that I want to launch. So I have the system one. I usually use the CPU and I usually have the CPU up here at the top right. Then I'm going to go into VNX2 skins VNX um, system. Then I have my RAM right underneath of that. So that's going to be this one right here. So I'll just go ahead and kind of get this set up exactly how I have it on my system. And I will come back once it's fully set up. So this right here is exactly how I have my system set up. I've got all of my hard drives up here. Now I only have one on this VM here, but on my main system, and I'll kind of go ahead and actually just show a image of that. I've got my four different hard drives. I've got them all lined up here. In this corner, I usually have the weather, but again, for some reason, it's just not letting me drag this all the way over. So I've got the date here. I've got the weather over here, and then I've got my CPU usage, RAM usage, swap, uh, net download, and upload. So that is super nice. What's also cool about this uh, VNEX theme is you can actually enable a Microsoft confidential watermark. This is something that, that would appear in uh, beta builds of Windows 8. So if you kind of want to fool somebody into thinking that you're using a uh, you know confidential version of Windows, you can kind of have this up here. It just you know it looks kind of cool. It's kind of a uh, geeky thing, but it's definitely pretty cool. This one, because it's basically just a bunch of text, it's a little bit harder to grab. You see, if I'm trying to, you know, grab here, it's not really going to actually grab. It's actually going to try to just draw a box on the desktop. You have to have your mouse pointer right over one of the letters to actually move it around. So what you can do is have this one here, and then you can also have a build string. They've got that one as well in here. So if I want just this watermark, uh, you see here it is right here, Microsoft pre-release operating system evaluation copy. This is not the actual uh, build string. This is from build 7989, which is an early Windows 8 build. But I just thought that that was kind of cool. I personally don't have this on my main system. But again, if, if you just want to, you know, trick somebody into thinking that, that you're using like a confidential version of Windows, that's just, I mean, pretty cool. I thought that it was pretty cool when I downloaded it myself. But there you go, guys. That is essentially it. That is a very, very quick look at Rain Meter. Um, again, one of my favorite programs on Windows. I really have enjoyed using this. And I hope that you guys will enjoy using it as well. But before we head out of here, I want to give a huge thank you to PDF Element for sponsoring today's video. PDF Element is a software tool that allows you to easily create edit, 
and annotate PDF files. You can highlight or underline text to make it stand out to the reader and easily fix typos, like this one from the official YouTube playbook published by Google. It also supports e-signing, allowing you to securely affix your signature to documents. In addition to that, they've got a plethora of document templates available, and the Pro version enables you to perform optical character recognition on scanned documents, allowing you to search for and edit text with ease. They've got a desktop version available for Windows and Mac, as well as a free mobile app for Android and iOS. Check out the link in the video description for more information. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to get subscribed down below, and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already, to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And uh, be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know if you guys have ever heard of this software before. Is this software that you currently use on your system? Also, feel free to share your own layouts as I would definitely uh, love to see what you guys have uh, created using this program. I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.